Hi everyone, welcome back to the Trist Artist channel. If you haven't seen my last video yet, I made a bullet journal uh, theme about uh, pen pals and snail mail. And especially in this time right now, we can share and give a little bit more love. And yeah, I just think it is really nice to give and receive something you weren't expecting or you know, a little, a little gift in the mail is always nice. So today I will show you the letter that I'll be sending to my pen pal, Megan. But before we are going to uh, make the letter and... A little doggy needs it to be held. Now be silent, okay? I only have one pen pal and her name is Megan. She lives in the UK and I live in the Netherlands. And we've been writing each other letters for a year now? Longer, I think. Maybe a year and a half. Megan and I met uh, through Instagram, actually. We both have a love for bullet journaling and she asked me if she could send something to me, a letter and some goodies. And I thought, well, that is a lot of fun. So you can look through Instagram, um, look for snail mail accounts, uh, while searching for it, you know, and also there are some um, special websites. Sorry, Izzy is on my lap because otherwise she's gonna make noise. <laughs> there are some websites that you can kind of uh, sign up for pen paling or look through people that would like to pen pal. Um, I personally don't have any experience with that, but I would say use Instagram to meet someone. Yeah, that's uh, how I did it at least. <laughs> and I hope that um, some of you will start doing this. I think it is a lot of fun. You can even send it to like relatives or friends that you can see right now. Um, you don't have to like send it overseas, you know? Um, but yeah, I hope you like this video and make sure to watch till the end because there will be a cool giveaway. Things that I will start off with are old magazines like Flow Magazine. These always have a lot of cute things in there and I will just look through them and cut out anything that I would like to use. And I'll be using a very plain, simple uh, white envelope and we are going to make it look really cute. So I started off with um, placing this pattern at the bottom. I'm adding another pattern at the top. I'm also using this vibrant yellow color because she loves yellow. To try something out with this gold washi tape. Not sure if it will look cute, but we can always try. I cut out this little bird. I think it looks really cute with the other colors. Make sure you really press the images down that you glued on because you don't want them to come off while they are transferred. Let's flip the envelope over and make the back. I really want to cover up this part because that doesn't look so cute. So I'm going to do that first. Going in with my gold washi tape again. Now for this top part, I'm going to place paper on top of this. When I close it, then it will look cute here as well. 
So with this, make sure to put glue here and not on here because otherwise you might glue everything down without putting the letter in, so make sure of that. Now, that's it for the envelope. Make sure to leave space for the address, post stamps, and at the back you can put your own address, uh, so your pen pal can send you uh, a lovely package as well, or for return sender if that's needed. Now, these are a few of the things that I want to send to her, but I want to make it look cute, make a cute package, so I'm going to start off by making a little envelope. And now you've created a little envelope, as you can see. Still needs a lot of work. Um, I really like that line like this. So I cut off these little corners, looks a lot cuter. I don't really like this part of the paper, so I'm going to think of something to cover it up. This is it for the front, now I'm going to do the back. So that's that and I think I will close it with some gold washi tape, but of course we need to put some stuff in it first. So some of the images that I want to put in there need to uh, be cut out nicely. So I'm going to do that right now. Something fun that you could do is to stick to a theme. For this one it is happy, spring, um, kind of that good vibes feels, you know. So I'm putting in some of my own um, inspiration board images because they are really happy and colored and I printed them on sticker paper for her so she can use them in her bullet journal or somewhere else. So these I'm going to just stack on top of each other to make a nice little package. I love this little ice cream picture. I'm not sure if this one fits with the whole Theme. I'm going to leave this one out. Yes, I am still a perfectionist when it comes to these things. And I'm going to put them into the little envelope, like so, and the little labels as well, using a piece of that gold washi tape again, and closing it. These illustrations are so nice and they are from a leaflet I got from uh, Lush Cosmetics. It fits in here perfectly, but as you can see, this doesn't fit. So I have, would have to fold it, make sure to do it nicely and even. A little piece of paper with feathers, a little envelope. I love these little envelopes, 
So what I do with these pieces of paper is that I make sure to stack them from large to small so you can really create a nice little package. With a piece of baker, baker's twine I'm going to wrap this around all of the pieces of paper so that they will stick together. Now I'm left with these two pieces and I'm just going to tie it in the middle. Make sure that you won't cut off uh, too much of the twine so you can turn it into a nice bow, like so. I'm going to double knot it to make it secure. And I'm cutting off the rest. Something else you can do is send each other washi tape. And let's see, I can put it into this little envelope. Something that Megan sends me is tissue paper and you see me using it in my bullet journal all the time. So I really, really like that. I don't have any uh, apart from uh, the ones that she sent me. So I won't be sending it back to her, of course. Other things that you can add are stickers, or pieces of sheet music that you found in the thrift store book. So I'm going to put that in here as well. Don't you think that these colors look so cute and spring-like? I love it. Now it's time to write a letter. For the date I'm going to use this little stamp. Just using some ink and I'm going to put it at the top corner. Underneath I'll be writing where uh, the letter is from, so my hometown, Zwolle. I'm done writing the letter and I also put some stickers on there as well to make it look cuter. And now I'm going to fold it in three, like so. And now I can put it with the rest of it. So I'm going to tuck it in and then I'm done. This part doesn't stick very well, so I'm going to use sticky dots because we don't want anything to fall out. Now all that's left to it is writing her name and address, but of course I won't be showing that. And my address at the back and put some post stamps on it. Make sure to always weigh it um, at the post office or at home and uh, put enough stamps on it of course and send it out. So let's talk about the giveaway. I thought it would be fun to send one of you guys a little snail mail envelope with some goodies. And all you have to do um, to enter is leave a comment down below on this video on YouTube and follow me on Instagram, of course. And yeah, please um, leave a comment down below why you would like to receive some snail mail or just tell me that you would like to enter. So yeah, I hope that we can share some more love this way and I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. I'll say bye-bye. Bye-bye.